Rescuers in South Korea are in a calculated but furious scramble. They're working under the assumption some passengers aboard the sunken ferry may still be alive. Past accidents tell us it's very possible. November last year, an overcrowded double-decker ferry sank off Thailand. About 200 people were rescued. February 2006, an Egyptian passenger ferry sank in the Red Sea. More than 300 were rescued there. There were even underwater rescues after the Costa Concordia cruise ship capsized off Italy in 2012. How can passengers survive when a vessel is capsized, even completely underwater? There's no more dramatic example than this. He's alive. He's alive. Okay, keep him there. Keep him there. May of last year, after a tugboat capsized off West Africa, a rescue diver thought he'd found the hand of a corpse. But crew member Harrison Okene had been alive for two and a half days inside a four-square-foot air pocket. His boat had come to rest upside down, about 100 feet below the surface. Just reassure him, pat him on the shoulder. The supervisor talked Okene and the rescue diver through it. Put your head underwater and breathe comfortably, okay? In less than 30 minutes, Okene was brought out safely. If there are survivors on board the Korean ferry, they could take steps to help themselves, though they probably don't know it. They need to find a watertight door such as this one that they would close and then they would seal it like this. Former Navy diver Bobby Scully showed us where air pockets can be found and how potential survivors could use them. When they're in a small compartment like this with an air bubble, they really have to stay calm and breathe shallow and conserve the oxygen in that space.